Hi there, my name is Andrew and I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of copper to hydroxide. I've made a little table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam, so the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have copper, we have oxygen, and we have hydrogen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. So that's where the subscripts come into play. So if there's nothing written at the bottom of, let's say, copper, there is an invisible one there. And uh, that means that there's one carbon. And oxygen here, same thing. There's a one at the bottom. Uh, there's a subscript there. Uh, but we don't just have one oxygen. We have one oxygen in the hydroxide polyatomic anion, but we have two of those anions, and therefore we should have two oxygens. An easier way to do it is take the subscript there and just multiply it by the outer subscript. So inner subscript times outer subscript. There's going to be two oxygens. Same thing for hydrogen. There's a one here, but there's an outer subscript. So just multiply those two numbers together, and that means two hydrogen. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's copper's mass, 63.55, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1.01. So those are the values we're going to plug in. So this is 63.55, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1.01. Then to find the total mass of the element in the particular compound, we just simply multiply the row on a cross. So the total mass of copper here is going to be 63.55. The total mass of oxygen is going to be 32. The total mass of hydrogen is then 2.02. .02. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound now, just simply add up all the individual total masses of each element. And that works out to be 97.57. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of copper 2 hydroxide. Thanks for watching, and take a look at some of our other videos. We've got thousands of stuff. Thousands of stuff? Thousands of videos. Thousands of stuff. I guess that it's stuff, right? It's stuff. Check it out. we got physics. Math, what else do we have? Chemistry? Yeah, I can't remember. Check it out. Bye.